Um, as you can probably imagine, today I'm gonna do a marker challenge. I was originally, um, I originally wanted to do it placing all of my markers into this cute pink container, but then I realized that uh, I kind of had too many. Um, so, as you can see, it's this all. And, um, so, yeah, I'm gonna cover this box with, um, with a piece of cloth. I'm doing it the one marker challenge, so I'm just drawing one color. And um, I decided to take off all of the grays and the black and the colorless blender because, you know, it, uh, it's too easy to do just gray scale pictures. Uh, even though I must say that the uh, principle is pretty much the same. I just, I, I hope I won't get a color too dark. <laughs> anyway, let me... Okay. It's all covered. Oh, I, by the way, I've already drawn the picture that I'm about to color and it's... It's this girl wearing a scarf because I'm freezing. <laughs> so I, I could only think about dressing up my little girl. Ooh. Okay. And um, I seriously hope I'm not going to mess her up too much. Okay. dark. Mid-tone <laughs> or a lighter color would be best, I think. Okay, okay. Uh, pale Burberry. Oh god, I think this is, this is dark. <laughs> so let me try this on a piece of paper. And Oh, okay. I thought it was too dark, but um, it's a sort of grayish purple. Um, okay, we can do it. And this is the picture. And if you're interested, you can uh, you can download the line art, and the link is in the description down below. Because uh, you know, it's it's a game. If you want to do this challenge, or if you just want to try and color my stuff, you can download the picture and do it. Just post a link back to me or tag me so that I can see what you are doing with my stuff. Because I'm really curious. I really enjoy when people color in my stuff. Okay. Okay. I probably forgot to mention that um, the first time I've seen this challenge was done by Baby J, which is adorable. And um, I thought it might not be as challenging as other um, challenges because, you know, like monochrome pictures uh, are a thing, they can be done kind of easily. If, if you pick the right colors, and I say, um, yeah, I've been really liking. Oh god, I can't believe it. I, I was pretty sure that uh, I was about to get like a really dark brown <laughs> or deep red, like, um, how was it called? Like the blood, uh, artery, blood thing, <laughs> red. 
and um, it was made by her and uh, she was like yeah uh, it's probably going to be boring but truth is that even if it's something common like do a picture with just one color and um, might seem to be boring I, I actually enjoyed watching the video it was really interesting for some reason and uh, I don't know it's probably her just making everything magical <laughs> but yeah uh, so I thought I would try this one too because you know I had fun watching it you may have fun watching this and I can't believe it with this color it's, it's actually pretty good and it's one of the colors that you can use to shade uh, when you are going with a one color shade and then you place um, other color as base, base colors I don't know if it has a, a name this thing it's like uh, when you are in Photoshop and you place a multiply layer to create um, shadows and you um, you just pick one color instead of the same color and of course you do the same with traditional media but I think it has a technique as a name <laughs> I, I don't know what it is I'm so sorry if sometimes I get quiet but I don't really know what to say right now <laughs> It's, uh, it's like I messed up her lips. Okay, let's start it. So, <laughs> since I was lucky, it's not a real challenge, but. Uh, I don't think I would have picked purple. Well, this purple, I mean, if I had to choose a color. Like, everybody has um, their go to colors. If you well, have to pick one color, you tend to choose the same, I think. And uh, when when I inked this picture, I made sure to to leave some areas are, uh, areas with uh, less detail or pattern, and then I built up with the brush pen some interest because when you are working with just one marker, one of the best thing you can do is to uh, add lines. I'm so sorry if you if you hear water sound. It's, it's raining like crazy. Um, it's like this purple will automatically look darker than this purple because this is a clean area, whereas here you have more black. So yeah, it, it looks different. So. It's something that I pretty much automatically do. I don't know if this counts as cheating. I, I don't think of it. If I did cheat, I'm so sorry, but as uh, I think it was, yeah, I think it was Baby J that said that, yeah, there is no really no rule book for this kind of things. So. I'm layering again because I want to see how much I can work this picture. Uh, I'm using 
of shitty paper. <laughs> well, it's not printer paper, uh, but um, it's nothing fancy. It's one of those um, paper you buy in bark, like for kind of for the printer, but it's thicker and it's really smooth. And uh, it's pretty good with ink. And um, and Copex, and that's what I use basically because I have really a bunch of paper that I bought for comic making, and I don't want to buy other smooth paper when I have a bunch, bunch laying around. Because you know, paper has no expiring date, but I just have too many stuff already. Too much, too many, and no. Anyways, we might be done <laughs> with this. And um, let me try something. I'm going to ruin this piece entirely <laughs> right now. I know it. Uh, I said that I didn't place the colorless uh, blender into the, the pack because you know this is basically clear alcohol so you, you you don't need this this is isn't a color but I think I think I can try and use it to just to create a blush I'm about to ruin this thing seriously <laughs> I'm trying to, to dab and um, see what what happens. Oh, it's not, it's not that bad. Okay, it's, it's kind of working. Okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I don't really use a blender. Like, um, ever since I bought it, I haven't used it. Because I figured uh, it wasn't the technique that uh, suited me best. But, uh, <laughs> this is interesting. And I was really afraid that doing this dip and dip technique could uh, ruin the tips of the markers but really no because the, the as you can see it's still clear yay okay here it's ruining stuff right now <laughs> Ooh, yeah, but it's um sorry, I I stopped my sentence mid sentence, but as you can see the the dip is still clear, cause the alcohol of the marker kind of pushes away the external ink, so there's really no fear. Don't fear to damage your Copics, cause you can't. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. And yes, um, this is pretty basic, pretty simple, but yeah, this is my 
one more throw challenge and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe or thumbs up or comment down below if you enjoyed the picture and the video bye